Hi, I'm Gary with Funsational Finds, and today we're going to do a demonstration on how to make savory saltine seasoning crackers. And these are some of the flavors that we're selling today. Uh, the Texas Chipotle, Garden Dill, and original flavor are ones that have been out for a while. There's a new flavor we're going to demonstrate today, which is the sweet barbecue flavor. And this is pretty easy to make. You need a, a two-gallon Ziploc bag. A little bit bigger than normal, but you can find them easy at the grocery store. We're going to use a full box of saltine crackers. That's four full sleeves. And then it's one and two thirds a cup of canola oil. And then you just shake it up and you're ready to go. So the first thing we want to do is get our seasoning pack out and open. So I'm going to take a little scissor here and cut that open. Okay. Now I'm going to pour that in here without making a mess into our Ziploc bag. All right, that smells good. I can smell it already. And then I've already pre-mixed uh, or measured the oil, one and two thirds cup. And I'm going to mix that now into the seasoning. It's kind of messy, but it's going to taste good here in a few minutes. Now this is a full box of crackers. We've already poured two of the sleeves out in a bowl. Kind of give us a head start. So these are two sleeves of crackers. I'm gonna mix those in the bag. That way the bag will kind of stay in the table and won't drip all over the place. And now I got two more sleeves. I'm gonna mix in here. All right. Sometimes it's easier to look than it, than it actually is here. So now I'll get the rest of these in. This is the fourth sleeve. Put those all out into our bag. All right. Now that was the hard part. Now here's the fun part. You zip it up and then you start shaking it and mixing it. You're supposed to do that for about five minutes because it takes a while. And all that oil and seasoning to mix. You just gotta coat those crackers really good. And so you keep doing that for about five minutes. Now what I did before, when they're and at that point they're done and you can eat them, but sometimes they're a little oily still, a little kind of wet to the touch. And what I did last time is I just put them in the oven for a little bit, for about five minutes or so, just to kind of help them dry off a little bit more and uh, they taste pretty good warm too so uh, it's kind of messy but uh, let's grab one out of there see what it tastes like that's what it looks like when it's all done nice and toasty and I bet you it'll taste good mmm -mm, yummy